China and Russia stand together, forming a formidable alliance that has sent shockwaves across the globe with their recent actions. Today, the world watches in disbelief and horror as news breaks that these two powerful nations have launched hypersonic missiles targeting Israel, specifically aimed at Rafah. This unprecedented attack marks a significant escalation in international tensions and introduces a new and terrifying dynamic to global warfare. The use of hypersonic missiles, which travel at speeds exceeding five times the speed of sound, presents a technological marvel, but also a profound threat as traditional missile defense systems struggle to intercept them. The implications of this event are vast, not only for the immediate geopolitical landscape, but also for the future of international relations and military strategy. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The motivations behind China and Russia's coordinated assault on Israel are complex and multifaceted. Both nations have historically had contentious relationships with Western powers and their allies, often finding themselves at odds with U.S. foreign policy. By launching an attack on Israel, a staunch U.S. ally, they send a clear message of defiance and challenge the existing world order. The selection of Rafah as a target is particularly significant, given its strategic location and historical context. Situated on the border between the Gaza Strip and Egypt, Rafah has long been a focal point of conflict, making it a symbolically charged target. In the immediate aftermath of the missile strikes, the streets of Rafah are scenes of chaos and devastation. Buildings lie in ruins, emergency services scramble to rescue survivors, and the air is thick with the acrid smell of burning debris. The sheer speed and power of the hypersonic missiles have left a trail of destruction that is unprecedented in modern warfare. The local population, already accustomed to conflict, faces a new level of fear and uncertainty. Hospitals are overwhelmed with casualties, and the infrastructure is severely damaged, complicating relief efforts. International reactions to the attack have been swift and varied. In the United States, President and top military officials convene an emergency meeting, grappling with how to respond to this direct affront to an ally. The use of hypersonic missiles, a technology still in its relative infancy, raises alarms about the readiness of existing defense systems and the potential for future conflicts to escalate beyond current capabilities. European leaders express solidarity with Israel, condemning the attacks and calling for a united front against this aggression. NATO, in particular, faces pressure to demonstrate its relevance and effectiveness in this new era of warfare. In the Middle East, the attack on Rafah further complicates an already volatile situation. Neighboring countries, some of which have tenuous relations with Israel, must now contend with the possibility of being drawn into a broader conflict. Egypt, sharing a border with Rafah, is particularly on edge, concerned about spillover effects and the potential for increased instability within its own borders. Regional powers like Iran and Saudi Arabia monitor the situation closely, weighing their responses and considering the broader implications for their strategic interests. The military tactics employed by China and Russia in this attack showcase their advancements in missile technology and their willingness to utilize such capabilities in a provocative manner. Hypersonic missiles represent a significant leap in modern warfare, combining speed, agility, and destructive power in ways that challenge existing defense mechanisms. For Israel, a nation with a sophisticated missile defense system, the inability to intercept these missiles signifies a concerning vulnerability. This incident may well prompt a re-evaluation of defense strategies and accelerated development of counter-hypersonic technologies. The broader international community also grapples with the implications of this attack. The United Nations calls for an emergency session to address the crisis, with member states expressing a range of views. Some argue for immediate and severe sanctions against China and Russia, while others caution against actions that could further escalate tensions. The Security Council, often divided on such matters, faces a significant test of its ability to navigate this complex situation. The attack underscores the need for new international agreements and frameworks to address the emerging threats posed by advanced missile technologies. In the tech and defense industries, experts and analysts dissect the ramifications of the hypersonic missile strike. Defense contractors and military strategists must now prioritize the development of systems capable of detecting and neutralizing such fast-moving threats. The incident also highlights the geopolitical arms race, 
where nations are investing heavily in next-generation weaponry to gain a strategic edge. This attack by China and Russia serves as a stark reminder of the stakes involved and the potential for technological advancements to reshape the battlefield. The economic consequences of the attack are also significant. Global markets react with volatility as investors digest the news and its potential impact on international stability. The price of oil spikes, reflecting concerns about the security of supply routes in the Middle East. Defense stocks, on the other hand, experience a surge as governments and militaries worldwide anticipate increased spending on advanced weaponry and defense systems. The economic fallout from this attack extends beyond immediate market reactions, influencing long-term investment strategies and national budgets. Amidst the chaos and destruction, human stories emerge that capture the resilience and suffering of those affected. Families in Rafa mourn their lost loved ones, and communities come together to support each other in the face of adversity. International humanitarian organizations mobilize to provide aid, but the challenges are immense given the scale of the devastation. The attack not only inflicts physical damage, but also leaves deep psychological scars on the population, compounding the trauma of years of conflict and instability. As the world processes the implications of this attack, attention also turns to the diplomatic front. Efforts to de-escalate tensions and prevent further escalation are paramount. Diplomatic channels between the US, its allies, China and Russia are fraught with tension, but dialogue remains essential to avoid a broader conflict. The attack on Rafa serves as a catalyst for renewed discussions on arms control and the need for international agreements to regulate the use of advanced missile technologies. The international community must grapple with the challenge of balancing deterrence and diplomacy in an era where technological advancements outpace existing frameworks. In Israel, the government faces pressure from its citizens to respond decisively to this act of aggression. Public sentiment is a mix of anger, fear, and a desire for retribution. The Israeli military, known for its strength and sophistication, is now tasked with not only defending the nation, but also adapting to the new realities of hypersonic threats. This incident may lead to increased military spending and the fast-tracking of projects aimed at bolstering defense capabilities. The attack also reinforces the importance of international alliances and cooperation in addressing shared security challenges. The launch of hypersonic missiles by China and Russia against Israel marks a turning point in modern warfare and international relations. It highlights the precarious nature of global stability and the ever-present threat of technological advancements being weaponized. As nations around the world react to this shocking event, the need for collective security measures and diplomatic efforts becomes more urgent. The attack on Rafah is a stark reminder of the complexities and dangers of the current geopolitical landscape, demanding a coordinated and thoughtful response from the international community. This incident also sparks a broader conversation about the future of warfare and the ethical considerations surrounding advanced military technologies. Hypersonic missiles, with their unparalleled speed and destructive potential, represent a new frontier in the arms race. Their use raises questions about the rules of engagement and the moral implications of deploying such powerful weapons. As nations develop and deploy these technologies, there is a pressing need for international norms and agreements to govern their use and prevent unchecked escalation. In the days and weeks following the attack, the global community will closely monitor the responses of key players. China and Russia, by launching this audacious strike, have set a precedent that may embolden other nations to pursue similar capabilities. The international response, therefore, must be decisive and unified to deter further acts of aggression. Diplomatic efforts, backed by economic and potentially military measures, will be crucial in addressing the immediate crisis and establishing long-term strategies for peace and security. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, do you condone China and Russia's missile strikes against Israel? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.